Welcome everyone to another episode of Rantix Replays. Ha! Ah, here I am in the M5355. I've been actually spending the last couple of uh, of days focusing on SPG missions for the T55A. I recently completed HT15, an amazingly difficult battle uh, mission, and I also completed TD15. Prior to this, I've completed MT15. So now I'm down to the last tank type SPG. Light missions still, light tank missions still very many left to go. But as far as the T55A is concerned, I only have a handful, less than a handful of missions left to complete in SPG. And this particular mission. SPG-11, the area of effect, this is the one which is extremely challenging to do. It's incredibly, it's incredibly RNG dependent. What it says is that with one shot, one shell, you need to kill one tank and splash another. So I've played roughly about 50 games up to this point trying to complete this mission over the last couple of days and I've come close a few times but for one reason or another I, I, I've, I've either missed or the shell went off in some random location on that shot which I did have in order to complete and so it's eluded me quite frustratingly over this last 50 games or so but in this game, you guys already know this, I make it happen. So how does it happen? Oh, check it out. It's one of my favorite maps, Life Oaks. And I like it because, you know, not just as an SPG player, but as a medium or even a heavy tank, I find it a very, very challenging map to play on. And it has so many opportunities for so many different types of tanks. But as SPG, what I like to do is that I like to set up in the Alpha 8 area to begin with, where I was earlier, and then slowly work, work my, make my way inside. Not only does this, um, re is this relocation just a good habit to have when you play SPG to protect yourself from counter SPG, but it also goes to the floor of the battle and gives you angle options to hit these tanks down in the south. <laughs> So when I spawn on this side of the map, on the north, that's what I always do. While keeping an eye on what's going on, on which bad guys are approaching base, such as that VK4502B, which is dangerously close to spawning range. But I'm behind cover, so he, he probably doesn't have a clean line of sight for me. Ah, e 75 moves forward when I thought he might move back. SPG is about understanding how players move and what they think and how they and how they play their tanks. And you know, generally speaking, heavy tank like this, any tank in a random game, when they fire they move backwards. So it's always a good idea to let them fire and aim just behind them. And that gives you a chance. Alright. Here comes the shot. This E75 and the Centurion are just so close together. I could kill E75 and destroy the sound one. But no, they split apart. And it's close. Closing in E75. He's rolling back. He's going forward. He's really close. The shot is away. He's going back in the shot. Oh, it hits! Now that was a premium shell. Hence why the splash was just so big. It blew up right in the middle between the E75 and the Type 4 Heavy. Taking out the E75 and doing significant damage to the Type 4 Heavy. What a great, great shot. Very, very pleased with the timing of that shot. And remember, SPG, it's, it's quite challenging because you have to lead the shot by up to 3 seconds. 2.7 seconds lead time. So many things can happen in that time. But I'm very very pleased 
and that is the mission complete. But the game is not over yet. We are winning. We are winning. But the game isn't over yet. Looking for opportunities. I'm trying to think about what this weapon trigger is trying to do. Is he going forward? Is he going backwards? Is he going forward? Is he going backwards? What is this situation looking for? Yes. He's looking for a shot. And that's why he stopped. And when you stop in the open like that, and when the enemy has a couple of F SPGs in play who have been shelling your location, it generally means that you're going to die. So don't stop like that in the open, even if you do need to aim. All right. So 9-5, the south is resistance is broken. I was so happy at this point. You know, 50 games in and then finally being able to do it. I I, I I knew I was still fighting gold ammunition, which I didn't have to, but I said, ah, oh, screw it. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. I just want to celebrate with some gold and finish off the game with the rest of the gold shells. And I've got a theory, guys. My theory is that gold shells are far more accurate than regular shells. Of course, that's bullshit, but, you know, <laughs> as you can see, the shots, the gold shells are hitting exactly where the cursor is at and it's just, it's just, it's just too good. This is one of those games where it just worked out perfectly well. This Wolfen Trigger is not going to survive much longer. So I decided to leave him be and start aiming in for the Bossic, which I know is camping here somewhere. I'm already up to four kills and you know. And this is turning out to be a pretty good game. Anything in an SVG where you kill three or more tanks, that's that's a good game. That's a good game. And I make a mistake of firing forward. A tank like the Borsic will always reverse after they fired. That's almost a guaranteed given. I should have aimed at the back a bit, I could have one shot that tank. Tanks like the Borsic with an open turret are very vulnerable to high explosive shells and if that shell had hit anywhere close to him it would have finished him off completely alright so what's he gonna do this bossing is kinda cornered he's got tanks coming in from the back and the front where's he gonna go uh huh 3090 yeah 3090 is a bit worried he thinks that's safe unfortunately it isn't That takes him out of the game for the fifth kill and tops off a pretty nice game that I had to complete SPG 11. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. I'm very pleased to share that game with you. It did take quite a number of games to get it done, and now that just leaves a few more relatively easier, less RNG dependent missions to complete in my SPG. And pretty soon I'll have a game video for you in the T-55A. Alright, I'll see you again soon guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like. If you like the channel, if you want to see more of such games, please give the channel a subscribe. It really helps the channel out. We'll see you again next time.